one of their famous customers was uh, Franklin Roosevelt ordered really? ordered sausage from the butcher shop. <laughs> you didn't know that. You know, he was there like 28 years. There would be people that lived in Alaska who would come here and hunt, have their meat made into summer sausage here and have it shipped to Alaska. You have to have the wood smokehouses. You cannot, it does not work with the gas smokehouses. And he'd call, he'd call and he'd say, when's the ring baloney coming out? And, and we'd say, well, it's a little late today. It won't be until 1130, you know. So then he'd say, fine, then I'm going to go to Hartford first. <laughs> and then I'll come back to Slinger. So I get there by 1130. <laughs> Living in that building and working in it. And when it was lunchtime, my dad would walk upstairs, we'd eat lunch, and he'd go right back down into business. That was a brick oven. That was a wood-fired brick oven. And that's what really made it. Um, Saturdays, my dad would do about 450 loaves of bread, 100 dozen hard rolls, and 100 dozen hamburger buns. Now she had to open the store. And, you know, she, by 5.30, sometimes people were standing at the door waiting to get in. When we close the meat market, what what do you miss the most about the meat market? Maybe you're gonna ask that it's the customers, because they were they were good friends of yours, and and you converse with them every week, and and those are you miss those people after because you were just used to seeing them.